What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be on a highly, highly requested topic, how to set up the famous trade copier. In this video, I'll be giving you guys a complete step-by-step -step tutorial of the entire process, everything from how to purchase and set up your VPS, how to set up a TS copier on the VPS, then how to connect the TS copier to your MetaTrader account, and finally, how to add your first signal provider to the trade copier. And if you've never heard of a VPS or you don't really know what they do, don't worry, I'll explain that too. Now, in order to follow along with this video and complete this process yourself, there's three things you're going to need. And if you don't have all three of these things yet, don't worry, just save Save this video and come back when you have them. First off is a PC computer. The trade copier won't work on mobile devices. The second thing you need is a budget to cover the cost of the VPS and the trade copier. The VPS prices can range starting at about $10 a month up to about $30 or $40 a month. And the trade copier prices start at $30 a month and can increase depending on the plan you want. The last thing you need is an actual signal provider to use the trade copier on. Now if you don't have a signal provider yet or you haven't yet decided which one you want to use, I did just make a video where I reviewed over 20 Forex signal providers. If you have all three of these things, you're ready to follow along. Now before I buy a VPS for you guys, what actually is a VPS? A VPS or virtual private server is really just a computer where the hard drive is stored way off in a vault somewhere in a completely different location. Now even though the hard drive is stored somewhere else, you can actually still access the desktop for this computer through your personal desktop like this one right here. Now the cool thing about a VPS computer is that it will run 24 seven even if you close your desktop. So by using the trade copier on a VPS instead of your regular desktop, you allow the copier to run 24 seven as well. And the trade copier will run even if you close your computer. Now let's go buy a VPS. All right, so this is the website of InterServer, the VPS that I use. I tried several different VPSs. This is the only one where I haven't had any issues. Um, first thing you wanna do is log in or create an account if you don't have one. Once you've logged in or created your account, you're going to come to a dashboard like this. You can see I've already got a couple of VPSs. This is where I run the channel, but we are, for the purpose of this video, going to buy a new one. So you go over here to VPS, and here are the two that I already have, but I am going to be buying a new VPS just for this video. Now you want a Windows VPS and you can see it starts off at $20, but this is for two slices. I'm going to just do one slice because I'm going to delete this VPS right afterwards. Now by adding more slices, what that does is increases the storage and the speed and all of that stuff. So if I go up to three, for example, you can see all of these stat lines go up. The rest of the stuff, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, this, this section, it doesn't matter where it's located. What matters is you want one slice and you want it to be Windows. Which one of these two you pick, I don't, also don't think that matters too much. Now the root password, this you can decide yourself. I am going to make my own password. Now once you have your password, you can hit continue on the bottom. And here we go. Now we can agree to the terms and conditions and place our order. But once your payment is complete, I opted for the PayPal method. You go to a little thank you note like this, and you can come here and you can view your VPS. Now, one thing you want to make sure you have that I maybe should have mentioned earlier for this video is you need to make sure you have your Microsoft remote desktop. It's this little guy down here. This is the server, or this is the app that allows you to run the VPS. This is on a Mac. If you're using Windows, it'll be your Windows remote desktop. You can see I've already got my two different VPSs here, one for forward testing and one for back testing, but I'm going to be adding that third one. Once you have made that purchase, you can go back to your VPS list. Here you can see the two that are already active, but that third one that I just bought is pending, so we're going to go ahead and activate this one. Now you are going to be waiting for a confirmation email telling you that A, you bought one, and then a second email telling you that the server is activated. So let's look for that email. Now I did just get the email that my new VPS has been activated. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page and then I will set up that VPS on the Microsoft Remote Desktop. After refreshing the page, you can see here that now all three of my VPSs are active when before it was only two of them. This right here is the new one that I'm going to be using. So let's go ahead and put that on the Microsoft Desktop. So we're going to click on this little settings icon right here. And then we are going to go ahead and start the VPS. Now it does take a couple minutes for this order to activate, but once it does, we can go set it up. We're back at our Microsoft Remote Desktop. It's been a couple minutes. Let's see if we can add this new VPS as a third VPS option here. So we're gonna go up to plus and we're gonna add PC. Now your PC name, this is an IP address. Now there's a couple of ways you can find that. First, it's in that confirmation email that you got. Second is just go back over here. And this right here is the IP address. So we're going to copy that and we are going to paste that in here. The rest of this, all good, good, good. Friendly name, we're just gonna go video tutorial. 
and then we are going to go ahead and add the PC and boom, there it is. By now, hopefully you've been able to add your VPS to your Microsoft Remote Desktop or your Windows Remote Desktop. Let's go ahead and open it up. Your username was sent to you in the confirmation email. Mine is administrator. And then the password, you already set it yourself. So type in whatever password you put when you bought the VPS. Once you have your password in, go ahead and hit continue. Continue again. And drum roll. There we go. That is our VPS. You can see this is a MacBook, but it just opened up a complete new Windows desktop within the MacBook. And this Windows desktop is going to run for me 24 seven. This is why a VPS is so awesome and why I so highly recommend using a VPS to run your trade copier. Now that we've got a VPS, we're going to purchase the trade copier and add the copier to the VPS. The first thing you want to do is download Telegram Windows Desktop. Remember, this is a Windows VPS, so I just searched it in my browser and I'm going to download the link that it gives me. Once you have Telegram downloaded, you can go ahead and open it. Once you've got Telegram downloaded, you can go ahead and log in. Once you've logged into your Telegram, the next step is to start a subscription with the trade copier. For this video, I'm going to be using the TS copier. It's the trade copier that I always use. I've tried a few different ones and this one is definitely the best. To go ahead and get a plan with this TS copier, go ahead and click the link in my description. I have it linked down there. Once you click that link, it'll open you up to this page in your Telegram. Once you've clicked on that link and opened up this bot here in Telegram, you're going to buy a new plan. Now for this video, I'm not going to be buying a new plan. I'm just going to be logging into one of the ones I already have existing, but you will be getting a new one and I'll still show you how to do that. So you wanna go ahead and go over to plans and I can't open it up on this browser, but you will be able to check their plans. I'll just show it what here, right here, what it looks like. Opt for whichever one looks best to you. And then once you've gone ahead and made that purchase, you'll get a, a message that looks like this. And this will have your login ID. Now, of course, I have two of them, one for the forward testing and one for the back testing. You will probably only have one, but once you've gotten this message after the purchase with your login ID, go ahead and click on download to download the TS copier. It'll send you this prompt and this right here is the link that you want to download the TS copier on your VPS. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. Once you've got the TS copier downloaded, we can go ahead and open the link. You'll find it right here in this folder. Now there is an install guide right here. This is a well-written PDF on exactly how to set it up. Um, I'm also just gonna show you guys step-by-step step because I've done it a bunch and it's pretty easy for me. But this bottom link right here, this is the one that you need to actually download the software. We're gonna go ahead and hit run. It's going to give us a little prompt about where we want to install it. And we're going to go ahead and hit install. Come on, time it right. There we go. Okay, also this, you may get this message depending on where you use your VPS from. If you see this, just go ahead and hit more info, run anyway. And now it'll hit us with the install prompt. There we go. Now we're gonna hit next and install and we're gonna see it down here at the bottom once it's finished loading. Now that we have the Telegram Signals copier downloaded, I'm open in the Telegram Signals Copier app. It's going to ask you to enter your phone number. This is how it connects to Telegram and gets all the signals from Telegram. So go ahead and type in your Telegram phone number. Now, after you've connected your Telegram to the account, this screen right here is where you put in your ID that you got from the plan that you bought with the TS Copier. So you'll find that if you go to your status, it'll show you once again, the ID number that you have. You can just copy this in and then paste it into this spot right here and then hit login and here you go you're now logged into the telegram signals copier this baby is going to run 24 7 on the vps so you don't miss any signals the only things left to do are connect this baby to metatrader and add our first signal provider all right guys we're on the home stretch we've got our vps set up we've got the trade copier set up on the vps so that it will run 24 7. All that's left to do is connect the trade copier to MetaTrader and add our first signal provider. So I already have a MetaTrader account set up. You guys do need to do that part yourselves. If you don't know how to set up a MetaTrader account, just Google search it, watch a YouTube video. And if you still can't figure it out, trading might not be for you. Now the trade copier is an expert advisor, so we're gonna wanna access it from this expert advisor down here. Here's exactly how we do that. Before we get going, I do want to point out that everything I'm about to show you guys is explained in that PDF that you get when you buy the TS copier. So if you think you can follow instructions along and you don't wanna watch the rest of this, this video, that's fine. Just go ahead and check that out and it'll take you from here. But if you wanna see me do it, stick around and I'll show you guys how it works. A few things we wanna do right off the bat, 
Algo trading is disabled. We want to enable that. That's right up here. And then we want to go over to tools and we are going to go to options. Then once we're in here, we're going to go to expert advisors and we're going to check these bottom two boxes. Down here at the bottom, we're going to add a URL, HTTP, whatever that means, 127.0.0.1. And then we're going to hit OK. Now that will add the expert advisor, but we do need to refresh pretty much everything. So we're going to close down the TS copier and we're actually going to reinstall it. So I'm going to open this folder back up and I'm going to re-download the whole thing. We're gonna hit run. It's gonna pop up with this little, uh, this little warning thing here. Any second. So we've reinstalled the TS copier and we also, I also closed down MetaTrader because we're going to want to refresh that as well. Once the TS copier and MetaTrader are both back up and running, we should see the trade copier added to our expert advisors in MetaTrader. So the TS copier is back up. Now let's go ahead and open back up MetaTrader and then we're going to refresh the expert advisors section quick and we should see the Telegram signals copy. Oh, it already is there. There we go. So this is the Telegram signals copier. This means you guys have successfully connected the copier to your MetaTrader and you're ready to add your first signal provider. Here's how to add your provider. Go to account management and you'll see how many accounts you're allowed to have. Now I can have up to 10 on this one. For you, it's going to be different. It's probably going to be less. If you wanna be able to add more than one account, you need to upgrade your plan. But I only need one account right now for the video. So I'm going to go ahead and create that account. We can go over to that account and it is going to be completely blank with no data. You guys might wanna read through this. I'm gonna skip it because I know it all. And here we are. This is the dashboard of the TS copier. This is where all of the results from any and all signal providers that you use will be tracked. So we're going to scroll down here to add a provider. And right there, that's the big button. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. Now here, pick whatever signal provider you want to run on the account. I'm going to head, go ahead and use one that I'm currently running on my live account. That's Black Forex. You gotta pick your risk. And then you can add more settings if you want to. I'm just gonna stick with this for now. Go ahead and add the provider. There we go. And boom, you have your first signal provider added to the CS copier. There's one more step to do to get this account up and running. The last step of the day is to attach that account with the Black Forex signals to this MetaTrader account. So here's how we do that. We wanna go down here to the bottom, the Telegram signals copier, go ahead and right click or double click on that. And then we're going to want to attach it to chart. Over here in inputs, this is where you want to add the name of the account. My account was called Video Tutorial, so I'm going to type that in. And then you hit save and OK. And there it is. This is what your MetaTrader account should look like when it's all said and done. This little icon up here, glowing, means that the signals copier is properly connected. And you can see we're listening to Black Forex signals or we're, we're taking trades from Black Forex signals at 0.5% risk. This is exactly what it's supposed to look like. Now there's one more thing you can do to make sure the copier and the MetaTrader account are working properly. Go over here down to health check and it should say, I can see I'm almost out of storage, but right down here, if you have more than one account, they'll all show up down here. I just have the one and you can see the status is working and this is the version of the software we're using. This means that everything is good and running properly. So that wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope it was helpful. If you still have any questions about setting up the trade copier, go ahead and leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful for you and you got some value for it, go ahead and drop a like. It really helps out my channel. And if you're interested in trading Forex signals and want to see how to do them properly and which providers may be best for you, go ahead and hit that subscribe because I drop a ton of useful content on copy trading, trading Forex signals. So thanks again for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.